Hey guys, you're watching The Shit Show with Danielle. I'm here calling out the bullshit and breaking it down, all that shit that our spin doctors feed us. Anyways, I'm sorry I've been away for a while. My phone died and I, it took me a really long time to get one. Sadly, I also don't have a production team, but I'm looking for one. So anyways, last week I talked about patriotic correctness, a sort of code to regulate speech, behavior, and acceptable opinions about how to be a good citizen. Patriotic correctness can feel just as oppressive to some as this week's topic, political correctness. Look, I ask a lot of people back home what political correctness means to them. It's usually that feeling of being talked down to, that you shouldn't use certain words about minorities, women, or LGBT people. Hey Sophia, what's up? <laughs> you can't say that nice is dressed the lady at, that 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 dress is nice to the lady at the office or say anything about how the black man is dressed like you used to do 20 years ago. Somehow political correctness is punitive on you. It's it's punishing you. And it's, it's a way of scaring everyone into not discussing differences. But much like mainstream media or drain the swamp, political correctness is a phantom enemy. You get to be the outsider, fight against the new regime and its culture that's there trying to take away your culture. You get to be the person with common sense values. But really, I want to ask you, is your livelihood being threatened by political correctness? Really? Sure, Fox News will share and air a story about a teacher getting in trouble for wearing a crucifix in school. It's kind of like the left-wing equivalent of all the blogs getting super angry about a teacher being fired for discussing Black Lives Matter. Or, for instance, the war on Christmas, which I never really got because aren't you the one supposed to be celebrating Christmas and having a relationship with God and Christ? Look, some men might get angry at the thought of being fired if they say something that they think is innocu innocuous, but to the angry feminist would be sexist. But, of course, even I'm annoyed by the college trigger warnings. But why am I getting all hot and bothered about what a 19-year-old is doing on a college campus I'm not even on? Look, how is political correctness really destroying you, other than making you feel bad about something? About how you talk? About how you think? Anyways, a little history. According to Moira Weigel, a, a Guardian columnist, really great, liberals themselves used the term political correctness in the 60s and 70s to kind of like joke when someone was kind of getting a little bit too big for their britches, like, oh, you're being a little self-righteous there, a little political correct. But the term correct actually came from a Maoist speech, the correct handling of contradictions among the people. So it was just one big joke. It was a liberal self-critique, almost like people on the right calling each other ignorant for not knowing anything. Look, I would like to replace politically correct with civil. That's something that's real, really something that we can understand. Look, you just can't call women fat pigs. And anytime you call another group of people another derogatory phrase, it's disrespectful even if that group calls themselves that. Kind of like how gay women call each other dykes or how black people call each other the N-word. Oftentimes this is a way of just coping with realities that would just be too sad if you didn't laugh at them. Look, it's not like someone gets to talk about some other group and you don't. But who is the keeper of right anyway? This is just about showing civility and respect. Why are you so hot and bothered about what other people think of you? And if you think they want you to talk and think about you in a certain way, maybe there's something to that. Go a little deeper. Why might they want you to use a different phrase to describe them? There is learning here. This is not a time to shut down. And it's definitely not a time to take it as self-critique and feel bad. Look, people don't have to like you. But if you want them to, don't take the temperature of the room on yourself. Think about how your words will land if you want the world to get along with you. That, my friends, is common sense. Political correctness, this is not the last time we will talk about you, my saucy wench. But uh, hopefully we won't do it for another couple weeks. Anyways, this is The Shit Show with Danielle. If you have a term or phrase that you would like me to break down, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to it. Happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Saturnalia. Uh, love you all and good night.